All right, Browns three player. Let's see. All right, let's, let me open up your most recent game. You went one three one. Damn, you're against Jace. That's really rough. Before we even go into the game, like while it's loading up, let me just tell you that if you're up against Jace and you didn't have a ban, or if you had a ban, you need to ban Jace. Jace is by far the hardest matchup. Don't don't submit yourself to that torture. But for some reason, if you can't dodge versus Jace, like you're in promos or something, you need to go uh, 18 12 and you could run you could run cooldown, and and that would be fine. But more importantly. You need Cloth 4. Perfect. You got Cloth 4. And I would even run TP. Because there's there's no instance where you're really going to be using the Ignite in lane against Jace. And against that kind of team, you don't really need the Ignite. Maybe for Warwick. But it's fine. In this game, I would, I would go uh, either... If you have 800 gold on your first back, go Tabby's. If not, go for your Vamp Scepter. Like, get the Long Sword, or if you have 900 gold, get Vamp Scepter over Tabby's. But you definitely want Tabby's on your first or second back. And then, you just need to get whatever farm you can. Start spin. I would, like, check this bush, and then I would go up and walk in this bush and wait till the first three minions are low. And then, like, spin through them, get the CS, and then keep using the bush to deny vision from Jace. That way he can't uh, just auto you for free in lane. Try to try to soak as much experience as possible. It doesn't matter about the CS for the first two to three waves. Jace is very strong. Level 1, level 2, level 3. You start catching up and doing a little bit better once you go a little bit more sustain with your Q. But yeah. So let's go right into it. So for everybody here. This is Unlucky Ted uh, from Twitch chat. Let's see. This account is currently gold four. He's a trend main with a 68% win rate so far in gold four. And let's go into it. So, good starting items. Uh, I don't know what runes and masteries you're in this game. But 18012 would be correct. And I would take Fearless. Unlucky crit. Eighteen twelve oak has forgot to change. If you can get away with 18-12-0 against Jace, it actually helps you skill against him better. I also, I also don't know what keystone the Jace has. So, did he take Storm Raiders or Thunder Warden? Let's change this to Blue Side. Hey, just to let you know, Ted, you have Ignite. In this case, if Jace is so dumb, that if he has Thunder Words, right? This is the kind of Jace that you can destroy in lane. Watch what this Jace does. It's so bad. If Jace jumps onto you after he changes forms, and he didn't use anything from his... Like, he didn't use anything from his range form, and then he just switched form, which is a six second cooldown, and he jumped on you, you can kill him right here. He does a big, he has really large burst, but, I mean, if he doesn't use half his burst, because he wastes it to just transform immediately and jump on you, you can kill him right here. You just start auto-attacking him, ignite him, he's going to eat you away, and then you spin onto him. Yeah, you can easily turn this. And remember to use your pots, like, when you're all inning. And th this is free. This Jace is so dumb. This is blowing my mind. This is the kind of Jace that you can actually beat in this game. Yeah, you're really gentle. Yeah. I can see that. I mean, if Jace is going to be so dumb where he's just going to jump on you like that, while you're full HP, you have pretty decent Fury. You have, like, 60%. 
And he didn't use any of his range form abilities in your full HP? Just just kill him. Damn, you didn't even get the spin damage. Unluck. Yeah, like if if the Jace is gonna play that badly, you can you can beat this guy. When I'm talking about the traditional Jace matchup is when the guy isn't brain dead. Damn, you're Graves Cheese, at least. Alright, Ted. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something. Here's what I see. Graves just cheesed the enemy jungler. Your lane went missing. Look how many minions are right here. You only have four minions, they have like ten. So you need if you go and roam and follow the Jace and help out your jungler, you know what happens? No matter what happens over here, even if he gets the kill, Jace is still being denied EXP because the wave is pushing into you. So go and you're free to help your jungler here since the lane's pushing into you, but this wave will get here before then. So, don't just ping missing and then AFK in lane. Like, that fucks your jungler. Your jungler got a pretty big lead from this. He went, he 1v1 the Warwick. Really good. Nice. So, you 1v1 the Warwick. Jace went missing, right? He started heading over there. The wave is pushing towards you. Just go and help your jungler. Like, the, the Graves is going to E into the the pit, and you should just, like, walk down and cover him. Because if the Jace tries to kill the Graves, you can kill the Jace back and you get yourself double buffs. Yeah, yeah, no, you won't lose the wave to a turret. You have a cannon here and three other minions, and this wave will hit before. So, yeah, you're good. Also, your Fizz should have done the same thing. Well, your Fizz, is, your fizz can't help. He has a wave at his turret already but your wave is like set in the middle so you can help him here so let's see what happens yeah so jace gets doubles right <laughs> yeah gg top that's all i'm gonna say if if i was your if i was the graves i'd start spam pinging you damn Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Nisa's right. Like, realistically, you should have already killed the Jace because he fucked up level 2. But, yeah. And then your jungler would have won, and then the game would be over. But, yeah, this is really bad top now. Jace with double buffs is, like, the most obnoxious thing. Ugh, that's rough. This is why TP would be good here as well. It's like, if, if something unlucky does happen, you can just TP back to lane. And every time I've played against Jace, something unlucky has happened. Either Jace kills my jungler, like what happened in this game, or, yeah, like, you just get bursted really hard. He's actually pretty low. But Jace can just go back and TP back to lane, and you're done, though. At least the double buffs, buffs wore out. I added Gucci Haze as a regular, that's why he can post links.
You need to back here. You can't stay in lane. How much gold do you have? You have a thousand gold. Go buy a vamp scepter. And then if you if you have enough money by the time you back, go buy a refillable. Otherwise, buy one health potion. If you stay in lane, you're going to be stuck here. You have no potions, and he's got a freaking Warhammer. Like, if he if he freezes the lane, because the wave's going to slow push to him, you know, the, you just have to take it, because you don't have TP. But, yeah. You can't... can't just... You can't just stay here. You're going to lose too hard. You're going to You're going to have to sacrifice too many minions. Yes, you'll still get the EXP, it's much better for you just like spin away and just back here. Yeah, he just constantly pushes you in. That's why I would do too. Just go back, teleport back in, and just keep pushing you in over and over again. Yeah. So that's what you need to do. Yeah, this is this is a pretty bad situation. He has such a large item advantage. And he's Jace, so. And if I was your jungler, I'd be so pissed at you that I wouldn't even help you. So, that's probably what Graves does. He's like, you know what? This top lane didn't help me. I'm not going to help him. That's just how solo queue is. <laughs> Damn. Now you, see, now you're forced to stay because you'll lose... A lot more minions. Yeah, this is this is a really bad situation. This could have been prevented if you backed instantly as soon as you saw the TP. Yeah, he can't he can't he can't teleport back, but he can just walk back. He'll lose some minions. That's the price to pay to pay to play ignite and then not like use it for combat purposes. That's the advantage that TP has over ignite. But ignite, you have a better all in. It's twenty dollars for a game review. It's fine to stay, but it's a little bit risky. I would say after this cannon wave, you need it back, no matter what, and just give up a wave. Alright, you just need it back here. Give up this wave. Or actually, he just jumped in, right? You might, like, I think if he jumps in, you maybe have a chance to all in him. Uh, that'd be your, if, if you felt like you needed to just, like, really carry this game, I would try to all in as soon as he jumps in. Or, what's going to happen is he's going to switch back to ranged form. And in that 6 seconds, you'll have a slight window. Like, about 5.5 .5 seconds since he has 10% CDR. But other than that, even that's pretty risky. Since you have no fury. And you have, like, ugh. You, you, gotta, you gotta back. In silver and gold, you can always take ignite. But even... Even in gold against Jace, like, Jace is just that punishing that TP, if you're a legit gold player, then, yeah, take TP in this matchup. Like, I would take Ignite in, against a gold Jace, but that's because I know how to take advantage of the matchup when they play it poorly. But, yeah. Alright, so he went back. Alright, this is fine. Vamp Scepter, and you're building Tabby's next. Perfect. You need to push this in as fast as possible. And then when Jace gets back, if you can't push it down all the way, 
Make sure you stand but next to your minions. That way his AoE will unfreeze the wave. Yeah, walk it in. Perfect. Alright, good job. Alright, you have enough for Tabby, so just go back and get that. <coughs> Damn, he... Wait, he has a tier? And he went double Dorans. He really wants to win. Hey, good morning, Savage Singe. What's up, Demir? This is fun. I mean, honestly, this is just PvE at this point. Damn, Jace TP'd. Yeah, let's push that. Damn, you got triple? Yeah, that's pretty over for you at this point. If you make mistakes early against Jace, like, this is what happens. Like, looking at this game, you might, you might not think you've made a mistake, but you've made several mistakes early in the laning phase that allowed Jace to snowball. Not helping your jungler, not all inning him right here when he jumped on you stupidly. It's, yeah. You had, you had several opportunities to make this game a little bit different. But now, like, you really just gotta look to get yourself farmed. Ziggs got first blood turret. That's pretty bad. Yeah, at this point, you need Fizz to roam up for you. Um, just blue buff Jace, just constantly spamming you in. And he's got four kills. Damn. Yeah, honestly, you're just going to be looking to farm. From this point, there's there's nothing as a Trinmere that you can do against the Jace. This is why I ban him. It's If he gets any kind of lead, he just kind of ro like, rolls you over, stomps you. And you don't outscale Jace to like three items, so it's a really long time. <clears throat> How to win versus Darius? It's small trades, but I'll go over the Darius matchup and any other matchup after his coaching. Him. 
Maybe we'll look at this hall line again. Wait, let me look your ult. Let me see if you could have played it better. Alright, so that's fine. You ulted as soon as the E animation went. Hmm. I don't think with that amount of HP you could beat him. Yeah, I, I would have backed out. But damn, like it looked kind of good. It did look good. But yeah, he still had flash as well, so... Yeah, unless you unless your flash auto is gonna kill him with just like an auto or a crit, I wouldn't have gone for it. I mean the guy is so fed. I think your original idea was good. The only thing you could have done different is you could have spun behind the Jace, you spun like off to the side. So when he knocked you back, you knocked back over here instead of over here. That's that's the only thing that you could have done better. But I mean the Jace is really fed at this point. Okay, your Graves is a very interesting player, by the way. Oh wait, oh, I thought you had him. Yeah, this game is pretty over, Ted. So I say, there like, there's not a lot of things that I could do in this situation that, like, basically the early game snowballed really out of favor for you. As far as macro, when Jace TP bought, like you pushed into a turret, that was correct. But against Jace, if if he's five and zero or four and zero because of of your team giving him kills, you you can't beat him 1v1. The only thing you could ask for is maybe, like, ask for your, your Fizz to roam, but he has been constantly pushed in by Ziggs. Your whole team kind of lost this game. The only way you could have turned this game around was the very beginning of this game. But yeah, in, in my opinion, you need to ban Jace. It's like, look at that. Like, he could just run at you like full monkey and kill you. <laughs> yeah, they're 10k gold ahead at, at 17 minutes. Uh, unless you, like, pick up some kills from a roam. There's, there's no way you can stall this game out. This is, like, really bad. Yeah, if your whole team is behind, you can't even play off any of your teammates in this game. And then, like, you fell behind because of the level 2, and then he killed your jungler and had double buffs. This is like an open mid kind of game. <laughs> Damn.
I mean, you're doing the right thing here. You just need to try to farm anywhere you can. Yeah. To, like, honestly, the early mess-ups were really big. And, like, you should have killed Jace here, and then you should have also helped your jungler. Like, like those, those things were in your control. The rest of the game is not in your control. Once you lose control of the game as Trindamere, it's... A lot of the time it's over unless your teammates somehow carry you. But you just can't lose control of of the game. But that's the thing. Against something like Jace or Renekton, you don't have control of the game until you get one or two items. Typically. But this Jace messed up. You could have taken advantage. I mean, they got Baron. Damn. Your surrender vote failed. Unlucky. Well, he got one, but... I mean... Your team's so behind, and they have Baron, that they're just gonna end. Yep. Yeah. So, you're, you're good with your build. Uh, I would say you need 18012 in this game. I would also take TP. That way, if you do fall behind against a Jace like that, something unlucky happens. Like, uh, like, if Jace, like, somehow kills your jungler and gets double buffs, you have some way to stay alive in lane. Especially if the Jace, like, went Thunderlords. Like, having TP as game w would have given you a little bit more control over how you played the lane. But yeah, you'd even have two items at 24 minutes. All you had was Stag Shiv and Half a Phage and Vamp Scepter. Yeah, so the level two, you should kill him when he wasted his range form abilities by just switching for and melee and jumping on you. You could have killed him there. Also, the wave was pushing to you when the Jace roamed, so you should follow in that case. How do I know the wave when I've crashed in my turret? Uh, experience, mostly. Uh, essentially, you had four minions, right? You had four minions, they had eight or nine. But your next minion wave would have made it to the turret, or would have made it to stop the your the enemy minions from hitting your turret before. You could tell just by looking at the minion wave. It takes a little bit of time to kind of learn those kind of things, but I could tell you right now, that wave wasn't going to hit the turret when the Jace roamed. It would have had to go through the next minion wave. So you could have helped your jungler there. And even if the wave was going to hit, here's what you can do. You can clear out three of those minions. That way it'll still push in your turret, but it'll push very slow. So you just take uh, three of the ranged minions as you're leaving to go help your jungler. And that will enable you to roam without having to worry about you losing all those minions to the turret. But yeah, your graves did a good job of killing the enemy jungler, taking his red, kind of cheesing him. But then he lost his advantage immediately, and he... The enemy team actually gained an advantage from that play because they got the double buffs and it kind of screwed you over in lane. And then also the Jace got a triple kill bot with the TP. That sometimes can happen. If you're against something like Renekton, Jace, Pantheon, something that like you can't really fight too much early. You just, uh, I mean, those kinds of things can happen. But it's not, it's not something that's in your control. And also I did notice that there were was some CS you could get, so... I would work on CSing under turret as well. I can't point out specifically. I didn't want to like micromanage the game that much. But essentially, uh, if there if there's a range minion that's one turret shot away, but two autos away, you need to prep each range minion so that you could just one auto each of them after the turret shot. I mean that that's just a very minor thing. That something that'll just come with time. Yeah, and that just, uh, you need to, it just takes a little bit of practice learning how to CS with Cloth 4 in 18.012.
But yeah, like even even I'll miss some CS. Like after playing eighteen twelve L for a while with longsword, then switching eighteen o twelve cloth armor. But yeah.